Hey ladies, welcome to another episode of my fashion video. This is not like the regular video. Um, I know I do also a video, but this one is actually more around my review of a purse. Uh, I think I showed you, my husband got me this purse, uh, the Menzel Gabriel uh, Lady Big, and um, how I felt like I've been using this for about a month now, I think, probably. But I um, just wanted to show you what's in my bag and also wanted to show you how I felt about this bag. So first of all, this is a very beautiful suede bag. Um, I didn't want to get the regular bag because um, with the regular leather because I saw that it got scratched up very, very easily. And I don't want that to happen to my purse. And so I thought maybe get suede. And then it came... Um, it came a little scratched, very, very minor. You can't quite see it, hairline. And so what I did was I sprayed um, basically this suede uh, protection on my suede. So that way if it gets uh, rained on or whatever, that it will not affect the purse. Because what happens is it gets uh, water spots on it and then it gets dirty easily. So I sprayed on like a protection coat so that way it doesn't get my purse. My purse can be waterproof essentially. Um, this purse is still looking really beautiful. Um, I, I, I love the look. Functionality wise this purse is a little bit of a nightmare honestly like i couldn't find anything in this black hole and uh so i think functionality wise i really do not like it first of all uh, first of all because of the way the purse is when you carry it say um it, you know in your shoulder i guess this works the best but when you carry it on the crook of your arm or when you sling it, it seems like the purse is always wanting to like open its mouth because there isn't a clasp. The only thing that is covering, like pre preventing your stuff from spilling out is this drawstring. And this drawstring, you know, might get loose. And so this opening gets like bigger and bigger as the day time goes especially if you are slinging your bag so i i always have the fear that my stuff would fall out i mean if i drive and i you know take a hard break uh with with my my truck and i think everything would probably just spill out and so functionality wise i feel like this purse wouldn't do it the only way for me to prevent and this is me prevent my stuff from spilling out is because the thing is there is this two little this little square thing i mean this little um area here is where you slip this you know this drawstring in or this part here but it's so small that when you're in a hurry you don't have time to like sit there and like put it in this little strap to hold your purse so it really essentially isn't that functional so i i i don't really like it um and the other thing is because it's this drawstring and everything is just like, once you open this, it's just like spewing out. It's just very hard to like find your stuff. It's like a black hole, like I said, super black hole. And and, and like, look at my, my, my purse. It's, it's not like dysfunctional, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff in there. And so like, if I want to find my wallet or whatever, it's just really hard. So I'm going to show you what's in my purse. Um... And maybe that's my issue, I don't know. So I have my regular wallet, which I carry, you know, most of my cash. And then uh, my cards here for cards that I don't use every single day. This is my Louis Vuitton purse, so I have that. And then I have my everyday wallet, my small Victorine wallet. I love this wallet. I use it every single day because in my Victorine wallet, I put my debit card and my driver's license. So this is a wallet that I open all the time. Uh, for everything so I like a smaller wallet where I can just carry it or if I want to do something light I don't want to bring my big wallet I just bring my small wallet and I love this wallet the only thing I don't like about this wallet is that this pink here the ballerine color this I had changed this piece of leather uh, once and it's starting to show like dirty again um, they didn't charge me for replacing this leather but um 
I try to open it this way so that I don't put my oily fingers on the button itself but clearly it's starting to wear off again I'm gonna shut my computer before it makes all sorts of noise so um so that's the other thing that uh I have trouble finding in this purse is this little wallet so it's like if I have everything in I just like trying to like search and sometimes I don't want to open my purse up to look into it so I just go by feel and I cannot find it and it's very very frustrating um, and then I have uh, what else do I have in my purse it's winter now I mean not winter it's fall but in Minnesota it's like winter I have uh, gloves in case I my hands are freezing and my hands is always cold um, I have uh, this hand sanitizer that I carry with me every everywhere uh, I have mail I have I, I went to this I did some networking I went to um, if you don't know I'm actually a life coach and uh, I I like to work with nonprofit, and so I went to this place called Love Inc to get a brochure and to check out the place. So I have business cards and I have brochure in my purse, um, and then I have my checkbook, another Louis Vuitton checkbook, which I carry um, for you know places that needs for me to write checks out. Uh, I have my Owl Coin purse. I uh, love this coin purse. I've had it for years now. Um, it's very cute. I, I used to like owls a lot and this is just a really cute color. And I have a pen and more business card from somewhere. And then I have paper clip, hair tie, oh, my lip lip balm. And I have my coupons for whatever I want to buy. You know, it's Christmas shopping time. And then I have my shopping list. So that's all I have in my purse. But clearly, I can put a lot in there. I think, I don't think the issue is having, being able to put a lot in there. Oh, I have my uh, wand. I was like, what is that purple thing? My wand for my lashes. Um. I don't think the trouble is really about how much you can put in there because you obviously can put a lot of things in there. The trouble with this purse is finding your thing in there, especially when you're in a hurry. I don't want to open my purse to search and dig. And even at opening my purse, I still have to dig. And I, I don't know about that. I think it's very... It, it's very frustrating for someone like me that is always on the go um, to have to do that because I just want my stuff easy and I get frustrated when I cannot find my stuff. Um, so I would say that's my review for this specific purse. It's a very, very beautiful purse and uh, I love it but I always have the fear, like I said, of things falling out of my purse and I have trouble finding things in my purse i don't think i have ever had a purse that i'm so frustrated with this is one of it so beauty wise look wise definitely go for it functionality wise i would rate it like a one or two like out of a ten so it says a lot um so i wanted to just give you a review and show you what's in my purse um if you're thinking about buying a menso gabrielle bag um just a few honest things that you might want to think about. Um, hopefully, I share with you another video of hopefully a new purse. Because, you know, I love purses. Um, but if you have any comments or feedback or more of what you want to see, um, feel free to leave me a comment. Subscribe, like, share, and hope to talk to you again in my next video. Bye!